What's up, guys? What's crack lacking? What's popping? Sharon here. Today, I want to talk to you guys about a question. This question I have been asked too many times. Too many times. I have been asked if I was burnt. Now, when I was younger, I kind of let it slide because I'm like, you know, you know, the skin's light. People who are burned have light skin too. I can understand. I don't understand. People who have vitiligo and burn victims, our skin has very different constitutions. If you've been burned, your skin is waxy, your skin is dry, there's trauma to the skin. When you have vitiligo, you just have light spots. That's a very inconsiderate assumption to make, especially when you don't know what's going on. I never understood that. If you don't know what's going on, why are you pretending like you do? Did you get burned? Just ask what happened. In the same breath that you can make a stupid assumption, you can definitely just ask a question. Somebody like me is gonna tell you exactly what vitiligo is. However, there are people that are not comfortable in their skin. There are people who are still trying to deal with vitiligo. There are people who have lived their whole lives one way and boom, vitiligo. So it's a very inconsiderate question and it's very, very ill-informed in a time when we have things like Google, Yahoo, Bing, ask Jeeves, ask your mama, ask anybody except for the stranger whose privacy you just invaded. Unless you know someone, it is very rude to pry. And just because you see it, it does not give you the right to poke at it and study it. We don't have to answer your questions. We don't. But some people like myself do because we are sick of these type of interactions. So please, if you are going to stare, at least give us a compliment or ask us a question, something, 